Chairman, Andhra Pradesh State Minority Commission, Mr. Abid Rasul Khan, Pro Vice Chancellor Moran Azad National Urdu University, Mr. Ajar Shahid Sir, Vice Chancellor Telangana University, Nizambad, Professor Akbar Ali Khan, Prime Ministers, a representative and nodal officer to the 15 point program, Mr. Nagesh Rao, <coughs> Mr. E. Smile, Mr. Abdul Sattar, other dignitaries on the dais, invited guests, members of both, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, it's an honor and privilege to stand before you today at the launch of Minorities Organization for Development and Empowerment. A organization conceived basically to ensure that though the schemes of the government are well intended, proper budgetary provisions made, but when it comes to delivery mechanism, so much more is desired. Note is a group of intellectuals and humble social workers who thought necessary that proper understanding of the requirement of the minorities, the available budget, and the mechanism to ensure that the rightful needs of the communities are met legitimately. We are not here to once again replicate or duplicate what is already happening through different NGOs and organizations and government bodies. We are here to complement and facilitate and ensure that the lacrimes are overcome and necessary voluntary support and professional advice given to ensure that the schemes are implemented properly on time and in the given budgetary year. It is a very common finding that when the budget for other schemes is fully utilized and at the mid-year plan, extra funds are needed. But unfortunately, the budgets meant for minority development, though very meager compared to the requirement, are still underutilized or not properly utilized or never the minorities are aware of it. This has become a common practice. The promoters of more thought that they are in the field for last so many decades. They know how important it is and how difficult it is to collect funds for the minorities schemes. And they also know how difficult it is to lobby with the government and politicians to get the rightful budget. And it pains to them after getting the allocation, still those funds are not utilized. We are not disappointed or discouraged, but definitely we want to know and make sure that the available budget is given on time and to the beneficiaries when they need it. This was the basis on which we got together. Presently, we want to focus on three very important issues which are necessary for the empowerment of the minorities, especially the education and the right for information of what is happening to the legitimate demand. And the budget which already is allotted to them. Three committees will be formed to work in these three different directions. 2009, the Right to Education Act was enacted. Many states have already implemented. Government of Andhra Pradesh is still to implement that. This is a very important and landmark act. Though supposed to have come in force 60 years ago, it has come now. Nevertheless, it is necessary for us to not only understand, but make the community understand, aware, and utilize it.
25% of the enrollment in the neighborhood school, irrespective of who is managing, has to go to below quality line and deserving students. The fee of this will be paid by the government. As this mechanism is not clearly understood, the government of Andhra Pradesh has still not introduced this act, but it is due to come any time. We want the NGOs working in the neighborhood to know about this and ensure that the children are motivated, encouraged to apply for admission in different schools in the neighborhood. Then the act will take care of itself. Similarly, the right to information is there for the last one decade. The community has not utilized this landmark enactment. We want to make the community aware of this right to information through which at least you know what is happening to your fund, what is happening to your contribution and what is needed for you is whether available or not and if provided whether utilized or not. And thirdly, the Planning Commission works day and night for nearly five years to plan for the next five years and they invite suggestions from all sections of the society to know their needs. Our representation for these discussions is very, very less sometimes negligible. Of late, there is a positive response from the Planning Commission. Few of the representatives are invited for discussion. But when it comes to actual schemes to be approved, not much is done. All these needs, pressure, lobbying, and repeated for all. Mok and its promoters have understood this need and they not only want to volunteer for this but want to establish a professional mechanism to ensure that these things are done properly. That is the reason in the initial stage we want to focus on these three issues and we expect not only the minorities, the six minorities which are interested but the non-minorities emphasis as you can see in one of the slides, twice we have written non minority groups to help us get our rightful needs. I am indeed grateful to all of you for encouraging us with your presence here and I am sure your continued support and patronage will help us in achieving our objectives and empowering the communities which will definitely empower India and India shining becomes a reality. No country will be at 